Another day, another come from behind victory for the Yankees against the Oakland A's this time. They have officially swept the Oakland A's out of town. Now they're heading out to Houston for a one-game set. I actually thought it was going to be Luis Severino versus Justin Verlander, but Verlander pitched against the Mets today, so we will not see him tomorrow. So I'm not exactly sure who's it going to be, but it doesn't really matter at this point. Anyway, the Yankees have uh, Houston tomorrow for a game, and then they're head up to Cleveland where Cole's going to start the game, the game stand over there. So, but again, another win. 5-3, come from behind. You know, and, and the A's got off to a lead off tie on in the beginning with Steven Piscotti and uh, what's he, um, Elvis Andrews, some singles and doubles. Um, and then, but then Tyon settled down. You know, he settled down and he threw three, you know, threw five innings of three run ball. And again, with the exception of the one inning and his pitch count getting up to about 100 out of five, he, he said he was solid. And Lucas Lickey came in and threw a you know, solid two innings. And then uh, Castro came in through a good inning. And then uh, Clay Holmes came in and shut it down. I mean, for a 5-3 to three win, got another save. And again, this team is amazing. This team is amazing. And it was all powered by the two, you know, the 2022 Bash Brothers. Aaron Judge with a two-run shot in the first. And then Jane Carl Stanton with a three-run shot, opposite field shot in the, in the third. Put him up 5-3. And that was it. It was all pitching after that. It's remarkable. So, well done, Yankees. Now, I got a couple of stats to share with you. I think you might think uh, they're pretty cool. So, um, by the way, if you like stats, you like good content, breaking news, recaps, all different types of stuff, especially Yankee World, make sure you subscribe to the channel before you, hit, before you leave. And if you do, hit the bell icon and the like button, too, just to show that you enjoy the content and so you don't miss stuff. Because it's going to get hot. It's going to get real hot as we start to approach the trade deadline. We're less than five weeks away. So it's coming, August 2nd. August 2nd. So here's some stats. The Yankees are now 56-20. and 20. This is their uh, pretty much best start through 76 games in, in, their, in their history. And this only happened two other times, in 1998 and in 1928. In both years, the teams won the World Series. So something encouraging. And hopefully this trend is followed this year with this Yankees team. So that's awesome. That's awesome. And then the other one is, with the exception of the cornfield game last year in Iowa, um, the uh, this is the first time in five... Actually, they still haven't lost the game yet, I should say. Um, it's been five years since Aaron Judge and Jane Constantin have been teammates. And every time they've homered in a game together, the Yankees have not lost. And it's been 50-something times. They homered together in the same game, and they have not lost a game in five years. And again, with the exception of the Field of Dreams cornfield game, um, I don't really consider that in the Major League Stadium because it's not. They've never lost a game in which they've homered together at the same time. That's kind of cool. That's a cool stat. Um, you know, that makes me happy. And it's good to see, you know, a judge hit his Major League winning 29th. Stanton hit his 19th. Anthony Rizzo's got 19. I think Larry Torres is 13. So there's a good chance they'll have four guys over 30 home runs and potentially three over 40. That generally doesn't happen very often. It really, really doesn't. And uh, so that's a good sign. We just need these guys to stay healthy and keep producing. And we need the other bats to keep producing consistently, too. It's good to see, you know, Josh Donaldson with a clutch double today and some of these other bats, too. So as long as we get consistent production out of the lineup and continually in the bullpen with the starting rotation and in particular in the defense, the Yankees are going to be really, really, really hard to beat. So I still think they need to make a couple of moves at the deadline. We've talked about that, and I think they will. Which moves? We have no idea. None. But that's besides the point. They are 56-20 and 20 right now. That is phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. And they are on pace to exceed the 116-game uh, Seattle Mariners record for all-time uh, wins in, in a season. So um, they may get a rough patch. They might. If they do, they do. But at the end of the day, the objective is what? To win the World Series, not to win the most games in, in a season. The goal is to win the World Series and put the great guys on the field and keep them healthy to win this whole damn thing. But that's the recap. I'll keep it coming. I'm, I'm home for a little while from the hospital. I got to do daddy duty at home and then maybe later I'm going to go back to the hospital. So, But I wanted to get this out to you. So have a great week, everybody. Enjoy the night, and I'll see you tomorrow for the lineups.